Hi, welcome to this week's Wisdom Wednesday. Hi everyone, Mamit Chowdhury from Optimum Performance Solutions here. This week's Wisdom Wednesday is inspired by a client that was working with me at my most recent workshop. And we looked at dissolving his 30, 35 years of guilt. Guilt and shame are the number one block that stops us from living a fulfilled, optimum life. It's wise that we, in fact, it's essential that we dissolve any guilt and shame if we are to look at bringing in building wealth. When people feel guilty, they don't feel worthy of receiving money and even ways of making money. So that could even be through sales. Well, what is guilt? Well, guilt is the assumption that we have through our actions and our perception caused somebody in the past more pain than pleasure, more drawback than benefit, more negatives than positives, one-sided basically. And what happens is we overcompensate for that in the present um, by, you know, giving out money in forms that really we're doing altruistic acts um, or we as soon as we get it in, we're buying, you know, consumables, whatever way it is, we set these kind of like little traps up, um, so-called self-sabotaging systems that if any money does come in, there's a way of it going out. Or alternatively, it's just not coming in because you're letting the universe know I am not worthy of receiving based on my perception of acts I have done in the past. It's wise to use balancing questions to help you dissolve guilt. And I'm going to share that with you. First of all, it's very um, important to identify what is it you specifically perceive you did or didn't do. And who was it to? If it was to someone other than yourself, then it's going to be guilt that you hold on to. If you perceive you did an action or in action, something you did, some, something you didn't do towards yourself, you hold on to shame. Either way, the question to ask, which is from the Martini method to dissolve this, is how did my perceived action or inaction serve the individual to whom I'm feeling the guilt or shame relative to? How did it help them? How did it, um, who did they get to connect with? What were they able to do uh, as a result of that? What would they have missed out on had that, had that action uh, not been done or done by myself? And you list enough benefits until you see to your perceived action or inaction, they were equal benefits as there were drawbacks. You're already aware of the drawbacks. This is not to make what you did in your perception a good thing. It's just to bring back into balance so that you are able to thank yourself and see how you are just playing a part in the bigger picture of the universe. You were an agent of the universe helping that individual or yourself get back to their most true authentic self, helping them get what was most important to them at that time. So if it was something you did at 10 years old, it would be based on what was going on at that time for that individual, did your actions or inaction serve. Once you dissolve this, you increase your self-worth, your worthiness to receive, all of that goes up as a result of dissolving any guilt and shame. And that was really evident. I just heard from my client three, four days after uh, the workshop and he has attracted now his most highest paying client ever in business. So as soon as you dissolve guilt, your self-worth goes up, you're in, you, know, you have the ability to attract in those things that you have been wanting to in terms of your finance. And I've just told you, guilt and shame is the number one block from holding your finances back and you living an optimum life. So go ahead and use that question, dissolve any guilt and shame that you have throughout any past in your perception that you where you think you haven't done something that was right and go and look at how it was perfect. Have a great week ahead. We hope you found this week's Wisdom Wednesday of value. If you did, please feel free to like, comment or share with others that you feel would find it of value too. Thank you.